this is getting this to be an interesting predicament in the stadium. He's getting destabilized in the stadium. Yeah, he's getting destabilized in the stadium. Howdy guys, it's Wombat, and today I'm going to be talking about another, uh, I guess just competitive topic, and which you see me talk about a bunch in videos, but I haven't really gone into depth about, and that's, uh, the stabilization. So, the stabilization is pretty much a weaker version of upper attack, as where upper attack is designed to lift the opponent up and out of the stadium. Um, the stabilization has a similar idea, which is where it lifts the opponent up, but isn't necessarily supposed to knock them out, just rather knock them off balance and outspin them that way. And it does have its origins with um, attack rings like Upper Dragoon in the, um, the Plastic Gen, where as upper attack, where people would put it on stuff like the Heavy Metal Core and 10 Heavy to increase its RPM, which I talk about in the uh, weight distribution video, by the way, and use it on a shorter tip, normally like flat or semi-flat, or sometimes something like Metal Change, or I guess SG Metal Ball Base, to just increase the weight, increase the RPM, and just increase the chances of knocking the opponent off balance or knocking them out of the stadium. Uh, so that's basically what it comes down to, but uh, there's also some other things that you see it talk about, you see it talked about a lot more in um, Burst nowadays. And in uh, the reason that is, is because, so when we talk about tips to stabilize other tips, you usually hear things about, oh yeah, Atomic will destabilize bearing and extend plus, and I'm going to explain why, and that is because, so, tips like Bearing and Extend Plus, if you look at them, they have a cone-shaped tip, so they have like one small point at the center, and then just like a cone of support around that, so when it gets knocked off balance, it will rest on the cone instead of falling straight over, like it would if it was Edge, or I guess Eternal Spike, or another kind of just spike tip. So that makes them like inherently better than spike tips, just because they do have the extra support. However, uh, the way the stabilization works is by using a ball tip. And generally you will need to be shorter than your opponent. Uh, which means that so many of the stabilizers would use like a shorter blade base or a shorter spin track to uh, destabilize opponents that way. And that's also why things like Dark Death Scyther and uh, Jormunter J2 worked so well for destabilization was because they had contact points that started lower than their opponents, meaning that they were able to get under them and knock them off balance more easily with their slopes. But anyways, the reason that um, Atomic will destabilize and outspin something like Extend Plus or Bearing is because that when Atomic knocks it off balance, so the cone-shaped tip will come to rest on its side like this, and the reason that these tips have so much stamina normally is because the small point at the bottom means that it has not a lot of uh, contact with the ground and not a lot of friction, so that means it'll have more spin, but when it's tilted on its side, it has like more surface area contacting the ground than even the average flat tip. So, it's basically like draining a bunch of stamina just spinning on this uh, side of the tip like that. And if it gets knocked off balance even further, that means that things like wall or vanguard or lift will scrape on bearing and drain its stamina even more. Or taller tips like extend plus will just be knocked off balance even further just because it's so easy for things like atomic or orbit metal to get under them and knock them off balance even further. So that's why it works and I'll point out some other examples later. So back in the early MFB days people would use combos like Virgo DF145B which was more or less like the Death Scyther heavy defense of its day. Um, not quite as good but still like the go-to stamina combo that used a ball tip. 
And the reason they used the ball tip is because combos like Flame Cancer 105 SF were also pretty common at the time, and those were designed to just destabilize things like 145D, which was the other like stamina tip at the same time. So with D out of the picture, that made B the more popular stamina tip, and the reason that uh, the ball tips are so resistant to destabilization, and you hear me talk about that a lot with defense and yard deck of Scribbers Classic as well, it's because because of the ball tip shape, no matter how much it tilts, it always has a uniform amount of surface area contacting the ground because it is mostly like a sphere as opposed to the cone-shaped tips where it has like this whole side contacting the ground if it tips over. And that's also why performance tips like wide defense are so bad on 230 compared to uh, things like normal defense or metal ball which probably outclasses both of those because metal ball it can process at pretty extreme angles. You've seen it like maybe not in my videos but if you ever try like a 230 MB combo out yourself it'll like pretty much go at like a 70 degree angle and still not fall over just because of the nature of the ball shaped tip, meaning that it can continue spinning at such an angle without falling over. Whereas opposed to like WD, you would just kind of like swoop back and forth and lose stamina really fast. And that's also why combos like um, Burn BD right here are also pretty uh, vulnerable to height matchups as well. They do very good at like, um, cone shaped tips are very good at like same height matchups for the most part, but if they're faced up against an opponent that's either shorter or taller than them and has a ball tip, then they will most likely lose. Um, and we did see this again with, like I said, D2 and J2 on Orbit way back in the day. And these are kind of back again, Orbit is kind of the go-to stamina tip your stamina defense hybrid tip for Burst Classic right now, or Orbit and Metal. Uh, I think Orbit's kind of better than Orbit Metal and Classic, but... Uh, the main counter to this is defense, just because like I mentioned earlier, uh, it being a ball tip as well means that it kind of counters Orbit, and that kind of goes the same for Yard Dash S, because they're both free-spinning balls, but Yard Dash S is a little smaller. And also has this ring, meaning they can be launched harder and not self-KO, whereas Orbit and Orbit Metal self-KO more often, and Atomic self-KOs more often than both of them. And even things like Keep Dash, which is a rubber ball, and doesn't even have the same range of motion that Orbit or Orbit Metal or Yard Dash S does, is capable of destabilizing, bearing and extend plus combos in the same spin, and outspinning them that way. Oh yeah, another thing I forgot to mention is that the stabilization is pretty much exclusively a same spin tactic. Like, um, I mentioned this a long time ago, pro over a year ago I think actually, at the, um, the driver matchup video, which is actually like kind of famous by this point. It has over 10k views I want to say, so thank you for getting through that much, but Atomic is still like possibly the best driver in same spin but it's not too great in opposite spin because uh at least not anymore just because that all of these other cone tips are able to remain upright longer because of their ability to just balance on this extra wide slanted surface that they have between bearing and extend plus all the precession while atomic just kind of falls over eventually and you see that also in metal ball combos also not being particularly good in opposite spin. It's like, uh, in standard Genbull Genbull, E230 MV will defeat pretty much anything right spin, but it loses to pretty much anything left spin. So it's kind of like the atomic of MFB standard. Yeah, I think that's about it for the video. Um, I don't know if there's anything I forgot to mention, but I hope this was like super informative. Got all of my parts right here. And if you found this useful and if you like understand the stabilization better now, like how it works, how to use it, what its counters are and stuff like that, 
Uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.